first two months of life, nor to two months, which is steps one to forty four. Step one is there on the breast. Step forty four is the fire, the flame coming up the vision. First two months, the most precious and influential time in the child's life, and it should be part of the confinement. Hey, you've got to hide your love away. It is an intimate, quiet time when the mother and child need to establish various routines and relationships. The child, when it's born, its mind like focuses on a point in a circle which corresponds to the breast, you know, the isocal and toxic, and this is a coaxial signal. Point in the circle, the energy comes in, the dark energy, the prana, the chi, the ogon energy, the dark energy comes in at a point and then returns back in the circle. So there's an energy flow there coming right with the milk from the breast. So we're just considering the development of mind, and here we have the structure of mind that develops. Obviously, this structure is developed prenatally in differentiation, but it needs to develop in consciousness in this world, the actual development of the mind. Now the child, or we should say the spirit, sees itself as an avatar in a virtual reality. That virtual reality is synesthetic, you know, that all the senses are confused or integrated at the beginning, at the point. The avatar sees himself in this virtual reality which consists of three levels, three layers, these three triangles. There's the triangle of the video signal, the triangle of the audio signal, and the triangle of the pressure signal. These are the three signals of the virtual reality. In the video signal, you see movement, which develops into conscience, you know, conscientiousness, seeing the course of action. And then here we have the seeing faces. So there we have the eye, the vision, the avatar, the driver, seeing the movement and seeing the faces. This is a video triangle. And then we have the audio triangle, which is the hearing. There we have the vibration, the waveform, and that enduring waveform creates hearing, creates sound. You know, that sound, you know, on echo location creates that sense of space. And then that sense of space, that space is identified by smell, to differentiate one space from another. These are the distant senses, distant senses, the audio triangle, hearing, smell, and heat, heat detection from the distance. And then we have the pressure triangle, the pressure signal. Pressure is touch. An enduring touch shape, pressure map, enduring pressure map is then an object. And that object is identified by taste, which I'll put it to now. And then we have the actual position, which for the child in the child synesthetic thing is the posture, the position. In, the, in this virtual reality. So in the first two months, it goes from step one to step 44. Step one is to focus on the breast, and then with the reflex action of returning the tongue to the roof of the mouth, it sucks on the breast. In response to the need of the pressure triangle here for nourishment, which that pressure builds up here, increasing the heat. Remember your boils off and that heat that hunger burns up as a warning sign this is step 44 so the child uh, wakes up and feeds and has to balance the routine from this you know from focusing on the breast and responding to hunger you know the sucking on the breast satisfies the hunger and back to sleep now it's most important that the mother developed the relationship with this, with the gaze, 
you're gazing into the child's eyes. You know, the images are of the shining self in the eyes. The light of heaven cannot be seen, but it can be seen by the mother in the child's eyes. That shining self, the love. This is the shining self. It is the clear light of the void, the clear mountain stream. All these images, you know, of the Sabhava Dhamma, the becoming of its own, the shining light, the dark energy coming in. And then the mother gazes into the child's eyes when the child's awake. Now the child is in a very vulnerable state, so we don't need any objects or any strange faces being shoved in the child's head. No images on screens, no... Um, you should be in a confinement, should be protected. But you know, like you're in a vulnerable state. You don't want people getting in your face. We should respect the child, but let the mother develop that loving gaze. That loving gaze. And that communication, which is then the healing of all the mental and psychological problems later on in life. So the mother needs to be able to gaze into the child's eyes, into that love. And so it needs no disturbance from that in, in the confinement, no emotional disturbance, no disturbance of visitors. The confinement should continue for these first two months. In which the child develops that he eating and sleeping and relationship with the mother and just comes to terms with you know, the life, with being alive as a you know, as an entity, as a being. <laughs>